What's up guys, it's me Jeremy. With the recent changes to champions like Vagar and Zillion, as well as the soon to be changes to Ryze's kit and making his Q a skill shot, we are starting to see a pretty interesting trend in Riot's balanced decisions. Let's get started. And of course, this trend that is starting to appear is, let's make everything a skill shot. And so far as we've seen with Vagar and Zillion, it tends to not really mean good things for those champions. Take that with a grain of salt though, because Vagar and Zillion suffered much more heavily for other reasons rather than actually because their Qs became skill shots. And so we have to understand why this is happening. Well, the main reason is because skill shots go quite a long way for promoting healthy gameplay. Targeted abilities tend to lack counterplay inherently, as you can just click on the target and the skill lands guaranteed, as opposed to a skill shot which can be dodged. And this kind of raises the question, how significant is it that an ability is targeted? Well, I like to take a look at one of the most powerful targeted abilities in the game, which would be Vi's Ultimate. Imagine if Vi's Ultimate was a skill shot that you throw out, and whatever target you hit with your skill shot, then you just ult that target. And let's be honest, the skill would probably become absolute garbage. Vi's win rate would probably drop by a pretty decent amount, and she would just become way weaker overall. And so with this example, it's kind of clear that an ability has a lot of inherent strength in the fact that it is targeted, simply because there's no messing up, no dodging, no chance to be outplayed whatsoever. And to be honest, that's kind of bad. Quite a large amount of champions tend to lack outplay potential in their kits, and Vi is a great example of this, to where if you get counterpicked by them or if you fall behind to them due to like a gank or something, all they really have to do is just click on you and you kind of get wrecked. So there's actually becomes nothing for you to do, and Riot doesn't really like that, and rightfully so, and so we're seeing this trend of skill shots being introduced, which I think is reasonably healthy, and when something becomes a skill shot, you can increase its power by quite a bit for this trade off. Things like making the skill hit two targets instead of one in the example of Vagar, or adding a stun on the skill in the example of Zillion. Or for Rise, you can just simply increase the damage by a very significant amount. When you change something to be a skill shot, you get to increase its power by a reasonable amount without overbuffing the skill at all, due to the effect of the skill being inherently much weaker simply because it is just a skill shot. And yeah, it kind of sucks and so far has ended up pretty much always being a nerf overall, but the balance options are there, and with some tweaking could lead to some great and healthy changes, which Riot so far has really been trying to promote a ton in Season 5. However, the problem that I have with this trend is that it adds to the reasonable problem that is already occurring of mobility creep. Mobility creep being that now so many champions are starting to be so much more mobile, leaving the immobile champions kind of just in the dust. I personally think that mobility is not really necessary in solo queue, but the amount of outplay potential you get by playing a mobile champion is just insane since you can dodge so many skill shots with ease via the use of mobility. 16 of the last 20 champions released have a really solid amount of mobility, and the other 4 are Jinx, Nami, Vel'Koz, and Thresh. All of which, except for Vel'Koz, do technically still kind of have some form of mobility. So there's really only one champion in the last 20 that was released that we can clearly say this champion does not have mobility. And where have we seen Vel'Koz in competitive play? Well, he was picked a handful of times, more often on supports and supports don't need mobility, but for the most part he's gone mostly unnoticed and that's due to his lack of mobility. And so here we can see mobility creep becoming a problem. Champions that aren't mobile suffer quite a lot at the competitive level, since the matchup of an immobile champion versus a mobile champion gives a lot of pressure to the mobile champion and makes it very difficult to have an impact on the map if you are the immobile champion. But at the same time, I'm not really that sure what you can even do about mobility creep. You can't just take away or add mobility to champions, those changes are way too drastic. But this trend of making everything a skill shot isn't really helping and so hopefully mobility creep is something that Riot is concerned about. 
And lastly, for Rise in specific, I played him a little bit on the PBE, and while I'm certainly not the best Rise player, which I'm sure you can tell, I noticed that his kit felt extremely clunky, and farming in lane became so incredibly difficult due to creeps blocking his Q for last hitting. His damage in teamfights was actually way higher though, since they did buff the damage on his Q quite significantly in compensation for making it a skill shot. His laning phase was honestly a lot more difficult, much much more difficult than before, since now he doesn't have nearly as much free harass, but his all-in potential was actually potentially higher if you could get a fight away from the creeps. There were a couple of times that I actually got really wrecked because his Q was a skill shot now, but there was also a couple of times where I wrecked my opponents since my Q did way more damage. Overall, I think his kit is just super clunky right now and has a lot of bugs. Like sometimes his targeted W didn't even go off when I pressed it. Oftentimes I'd have to press it two or three times to get the skill to work. And sometimes his auto attacks would do no damage despite displaying the animation. Bugs like that made him super clunky and so I can't really tell how good he was because of that. And if those bugs stay in the game, he's definitely going to be a lot weaker. But if Ride could get them fixed, I think he might be actually pretty decent and potentially stronger than he is on live right now but a lot less easier to play and a lot weaker in lane. Anyways, my name is Jeremy and that's it for my video on Ride's trend of making everything a skill shot and the upcoming changes to Rise. Hey guys, it's me Jeremy. Thanks for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, definitely make sure to hit that like button so I can tell and if you're interested, definitely check me out on all the socials of which you can see over there. And if you really enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe for some more awesome content in the future, as well as you can check out some of my other videos up here and over there. Anyways, that's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching, and of course, I'll see you guys next time.